third phase of the moon. Mars, the red planet. Lots of discoveries coming in. Curiosity is basically disclosure, in my opinion. We have Dr. J. Andy Elias, along with Brett Cousins, going over incredible photos submitted by Mike Sigwin from France. He's been uh, going over Mars with a fine tooth comb. We're going to go over his evidence in real time, as it is right here at Third Phase of Moon. Dr. J, we're going to pull up this first photograph. Curiosity captured this. The paradilia effect? It's a possibility, but this evidence we're going to be going over tonight is straight from Mars. And it's been enhanced. And it comes from a YouTube channel called Mars Alive. I suggest everybody go take a look at that. The links will be below. Dr. J, what's your first opinion as we go over a mass amount of evidence right now in third phase of moon on this photograph? Take a look. Ah. Take a look at this, Dr. J. What do you think? That looks cool. That actually looks like a very up close photo of a gray alien face because it looks like it's looking side view, maybe with wide ears. But if you look at it from a side view, it looks like uh, there's a right eye, a right ear, a mouth, a nose, and possibly a wide flap as an ear and a neck. That's right, Dr. J. I'm looking at it and it almost reminds me of more of Easter Island, Rapa Nui, and this could be a representation of that, a stone structure carved in the rocks on Mars. Yep, yep, and possibly of what their beings look like. Let's get to the next photograph. It, quite, quite incredible. Uh, this is what Mike says is some kind of boat, a Noah's Ark that's been abandoned on Mars. Well, hey, there's actually a, a story back behind that. Dan Burrish really? claims, yeah, Dan Burrish claims that we actually stored on uh, on the moon uh, the Noah's Ark. And basically, it's not the way it was what we in the Bible. There really was never two animals because think about it. What if they don't breed? It's impossible to grab two of every insect, bacteria, and, and animal and put them on a boat, no matter what the size. So apparently, according to Dr. Dan Burrish, who worked at S4, we have sitting on the moon and on Mars, Noah's Ark, which is carrying DNA to repopulate any planet with everything that's on Earth. You know, it's quite interesting that these uh, photos are coming in real time. And, you know, it's, uh, let's get on to the next photograph. So much evidence coming in. This immediately looks, again, alien. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you wow. said that because this reminds me of two photos ago, only front view, because now instead of seeing the side, you're looking at, again, unless it's paradelia or speculation, but just looking at the photograph, uh, if I didn't know what it was, I would think that it's either a representation, whether in rock or stone or something else, or actual black and white of something looking at us with two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and a neck. Dr. J um, and Blake, I'm thinking this does look like representation of ancient beings that have laid themselves in death. It does kind of feel, I'm a little uh, heartbroken about it because it feels like a dead alien brother on Mars. Yeah, yep. And, or think about what happened in Pompeii. People were exactly. literally frozen in time in ash uh, there were people there was people frozen like holding babies and, and this and that what if that's that or back to what we said earlier what if it's just a representation of what once existed there either way very good footage and i got to give credit to mike from mars alive for what he's been doing this is very fascinating what i'm seeing so far cool man uh, you know that's what it's all about sharing and collaboration third phase moon is getting the word out you know, uh, Brent brought up a point about this, uh, and you did, Dr. J, about this Pompeii. Are we possibly looking at an ancient alien uh, cataclysmic disaster, an apocalypse on Mars, uh, seen right here of possible life that once existed? I believe that uh, Mars still has life there. There's just too much evidence right now coming in. Let's get to the next photograph right now. Mike just submitted this photograph. He says it's a head attached to a side of a mountain. 
uh, gargoyle. Wow. You know, again, interesting imagery. I'm not sure. Brent, Dr. J, should we move along? What do you think? No, I'd, I'd actually like to comment on it. This, again, reminds me of what we saw in the last couple photographs aside from the boat. Either this is a, 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 a representation of what was once there, or possibly paradelia again, or something frozen in time. Because rather than looking at it from front view or side view, this looks like an angled view. Because again, you see a looks like grinning mouth with teeth, large chin, eyes, and a nose. Again, speculation, but this looks very cool. That's right, Dr. J. Blake, speculation. That's what Third Phase of Moon is all about. We're not exactly saying that this is 100% true, that what we're looking at, but it gives imagination to the people out there, the possibilities. Hey, we don't know. We're not on Mars. And this is the evidence coming in from curiosity. Hey, I'm looking at this being... And it looks warriorish. It almost has its coat of armor, some sort of scales covering it. It looks like it's protecting itself almost from the sun. It's shielding itself. This photo just came up, coming in real time. Now this is getting more. It doesn't look like an alien, if you ask me. It almost no. looks straight up human. You could almost, yes, but you could almost make a like a mustache and the nose and a, a big forehead but this is human characteristics yeah in every single way but sadly this reminds me more of the jesus on the potato chip because yes you see what looks like human eyes a human forehead even human hair like santa claus white hair with the mustache and possibly even a beard uh, it looks very very detailed but the rest of, of the part past the face uh, it looks like just like a bunch of rocks. So is it just shadows? I don't know. But see, when you just zoomed in right now, that clearly looks like a right eye of George Washington almost. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like a, a monument. Now, yeah. this is, I was just about to throw this photo out and move along. But now we. No, now you got to keep watching this stuff because it just yeah. keeps getting crazier. Right. Like I, I yeah. was looking at it and the zoom in quality, the... It, it represents a full human face. On Mars, it's not trying to be ugly or deformative. It's actually a leg legitimate characteristic in facial features. You would actually have to be a skilled artist to represent a person's face and etch it on the surface. Yeah, you know, really. especially compared to the face on Mars that they found in the 70s. This looks very, very detailed. I mean, very, very detailed. See, that's what uh, it's like all about. Said, like an, Dr. Art, an artist almost. Yeah, you know, that's right, Dr. J. It is very detailed. And uh, people want to speculate and throw things away and say hoax, hoax, hoax. Well, maybe NASA is hoaxing everything that we're watching right now. Maybe, maybe none of this does exist and it's on a movie lot, a uh, studio lot. And uh, this is that they're wanting to play a game. But I really... We don't know. What, what What's your theory on that before we get to the next uh, incredible photograph that I just, we're looking at right now? Go well, ahead. What if they were getting to their demise and they wanted to make sure that we knew what they look like? So they created be images of themselves as well as images of those that visited them, which is why there is the distinct difference of the first couple uh, etchings, if they are. And this last one that looked very, very human, so detailed, in fact, that either you could say it had the eye of George Washington and the face of Santa Claus. Um, but again, you know, I, I, it's not like where the shadow, uh, what they were talking about, the face on Mars on Sedona, because well, this is way, way, way more detailed. Again, it's too bad the rest of it looks like a rock, but that portion that looks like the face uh, again, you, something you said earlier. It looks like something an artist would have had to do. A master craftsman. Uh, let's, uh, let's get to the next photograph. There have been a lot of speculation that there's a lot of pyramids on Mars that actually really represent Giza configuration. What is this photograph? It definitely looks like a pyramid. A pyramid. Yeah, it, it is. And the natural... Okay, God or whatever you want to call your supreme being or nature does not build in 
perfect lines or rectangles or pyramids for that matter. The, I cannot see how anyone could even say that that was created in any way naturally. Yes, it's got erosion on it, but it is a perfect four-sided triangle. You know, there's so much evidence on Mars of pyramids. It's like we get a lot of photographs. So let's obviously just state that there are pyramids on Mars. Let's move along to this photograph. Yes. You know what I mean? This is kind of crazy. A three-headed kind of creature. Kind of. I, I see more of a possibly two-headed. Okay. Uh, again, though, it looks like sort of the paradelia effect because uh, looking at it, it looks like it's got the haircut of Mo from Three Stooges. <laughs> That's a good one, Dr. J. <laughs> now, now we're, uh, look, it almost, it's kind of interesting. But the same thing, two look, heads? nose and, and yeah, t two heads, possibly three. Uh, it clearly defined eyes and nose and mouth. I mean, are these representations of people that live there? Okay, here's another photograph. Brent uh, wants to comment on this. It's coming in right now. Uh, we got a few more photographs, everybody. Steve, just keep on watching and listening because you'll be amazed at what keeps coming on next it's kind of this is fun right speculation is fun and i'm gonna speculate and think it and think as what i'm looking at here is a possible rodent on mars that scavenged the earth all over the place we see these kind of images right here in our local gutters it looks like a rat Thank you for saying that because I, I was either thinking it's a giant rat or maybe uh, like a camel or even like a dinosaur sort of being because you could see the leg, uh, the fat body, the elongated uh, you know neck and head. It's something very, very different that you normally don't see. Again, this is all speculation for everybody watching right now but it's really cool what we're doing. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, um, speculation, I, you know, I think uh, a lot of this is real evidence, but more skulls on Mars. This seems like it has, again, more of a human representation instead of alien. Look at the large eye sockets as if it was a skull. And, and the nose and the face and then the mouth. Yeah, absolutely. This does, again, looks like another possibly etching of what was either visiting Mars or coexisted on Mars or is Mars. And this part that you're zooming into right now actually looks like a skull as opposed to just a face. It almost looks like a possible graveyard. Yes, that's, that's right. It very well could be. Very well could be. Graveyards. Uh, cave paintings. People... Thank you. You said my word exactly. Go ahead, Dr. J. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to say when you first pointed it and I was waiting for you to say something. Yeah. The it... first wow. image that came to me was this looks like a cave painting here on Earth. A cave painting of, uh, you know, ancient aliens. That's exactly what it, I would take this as. You know, let me t <laughs> you know, what's really funny is that museums around the world will take these ancient uh cave paintings, photographs, National Geographic, and share it to the world and go, look at these amazing things that have been around for uh, thousands of years, mankind, but we're not sharing this kind of stuff to the world? Come on. Wow, people. Brent? Exactly, Blake. Uh, this is ancient artwork at its best. It's beautiful. It shows a child cloaked. Um, you know, there's bad things happening around the world, and there's bad people destroying ancient art. Let's not let that happen on Mars if we ever colonize it. Uh, exactly. And that when people hear my story, Musgrave interview, he actually made a very good point about us going to planets and terraforming. But this one is very, very, uh, you know, it's a two dimensional, instead of an etching, it looks like a two dimensional cave drawing or an etching uh, against a flat slab but it's very detailed. I, I don't see how Paradelia can do very much on that one. Exactly. Well said there, Dr. J. Two shots in one. Mike is doing an incredible job looking over Mars, sharing it with us right here at Third Phase Moon. Two photographs again. Let's start with the left-hand sh shot. And again, it looks like somebody taking cover. I've seen this before, not just Pompeii, but 
testimony and shadows that have been uh, embedded on the concrete. Hiroshima, take cover, take cover. A nuclear blast uh, etched in stone on Mars, Jesus. And let's not forget the age. Uh, people re remember that the atmosphere of Mars was similar to Earth a long time ago. And if what is true in within the UFO culture, Mars was inhabited several millions of years ago, if not a billion years ago. So if you're looking at stuff that looks similar to what we look as now as Homo sapiens, that's a very starting difference. Uh, panspermia very well could have been an effect, meaning that we probably might have been seeded. Now, the left picture, again, just like Pompeii or Hiroshima, uh, looks like someone taking cover and clutching maybe a child. And it looks like they're wearing maybe a hood. But you, if again, unless it's the paradelia effect with shadows. Paradelia. Looks... Let me tell you right again. We're like talking over each other in its own sense on mind uh, perception of what we're looking at. I thought the same thing when he just said hood. So yeah, this is yeah. A, this is in um, this is real time. Absolutely. And, and again, this is the cool part is is you if if assuming it's not and assuming it's it's not paradelia and assuming it's not just uh, you know shadows. You can clearly, if you, if you look at it at just for the first time, not knowing where it's at, you would think it's a black and white image of possibly Pompeii, of someone wearing a robe or a hood, clutching down where you can clearly see the crouched legs, the arms wrapping around something, and their head bending down. That's what I would first look at it. Uh, now, when you throw in the factor of Mars and all this, then yeah, you could throw in the you know, the skepticism about it. But just by looking at this, not knowing what it was, that would be my first impression. Dr. J, you did, the description is perfect. You're, you're seeing it right here. And the history of Mars is prevalent too as well. We know that it was a life, it had life and it had great oceans. And this, I think, Curiosity 2015 is showing proof of an ancient graveyard, a catastrophe and the photo on the right, let's move on to, shows just that. I it, Just like you said, it that looks like it's uh, possibly it, a dead body. It on doesn't the, look like a dead body. body. It doesn't really. To me, it looks like when I walk along uh, farmlands right here in the state of Hawaii, there's a lot of cattle. A lot of... Yeah, uh, yeah. It looks yeah, like yeah, it's just some kind of cattle that just died over there. Something. Uh -oh. It looks like something dead. You know, just lying face down in whatever it is. That's what it looks like. Or is it just a different color rock? Again, we don't know, but that's the first impression. It looks like something on it. Uh, literally, not part of the surface, but actually on it. And the one on the left, too, I want to just make one more comment. There's this large uh, structure that it seems like it's intelligent enough. Like, if you wanted to duck, you want to hide behind something. It looks like it's hiding behind a who knows what it could have been maybe it was a mechanical a building of some sort or as something to cover a blast if that's what it was who knows a nuclear yeah. blast yeah crazy or a meteor strike that caused a, you know tidal waves and uh, the destruction next photos coming in third phase of moon like cousins with dr j and elias and brent cousins aliens trying to hide taking cover we don't know what the size of these guys are, but look at these two photographs. It obviously ha uh, represents aliens. Yeah, especially the right side being an, an enhancement and a, a, a large part of the left one. It's just like you said, it would look like almost a variation of the gray or what other people have claimed to see a more rounded head being with large black eye sockets, possibly a skull of uh, what looks similar to what they found uh, or claim they found around the world. Do you think this uh, is a skull, though? Really? In my opinion, you could almost... You, could almost you think it's more alive? It's, gonna, it's alive. Yeah, Mars like you said, alive. it looks it's, like it's hiding. Yeah, it's hiding, and it's only its head is popping up. Mike says, Mike, uh, the submitter says, Mars is alive. Everybody go take a look at that channel. Quite impressive uh, investigation by Mike, but... 
I think there's still life there on Mars. A lot of people seem to do. Even some NASA astronauts are starting to believe that, you know, it's it's purely microbes. And a lot of conspiracy no theorists way. believe that people are living underground now because of what happened on the top. It's very possible. That looks great. That actually looks something straight out of Egypt. Uh, the a Trojan variation horse? of the Sphinx. A, a cross between the Trojan horse and the Sphinx. Like, imagine the Sphinx instead of being flat like a dog where it's standing up. That's what it looks like. You're exactly right, Dr. J. It's look, it, this looks polished. You notice the left and right pods digging into the earth and- Yes, and it's yes, see, arty. nature doesn't build in perfect lines or in perfect, uh, you know, any way because erosion by wind or anything is gonna cause all these cracks and, and different things on the sides. This looks a little too perfect to have been created naturally i love it and you got to imagine too that mars is not earth we there's different living creatures around our universe they don't look like us there's something a little yes. different mars is alive more photos coming in hit the subscribe button third phase of moon not to miss our next episode with dr j andy elias brett cousins along with mike's footage we've just hit the tip of the iceberg actually of uh, the information that's coming through uh, Dr. J, you're going to be around to uh, go over part two here in the couple Absolutely. days? Absolutely. I've actually truly enjoyed doing this. And I got to give credit to Mike Seguin uh, in France for having Mars Alive. The work he's been doing has been fascinating. And I really look forward to picking up where we left off. Right on. That's going to be a, an incredible show. Brent Cousins, any last words there? It's just really good to have the panel, uh, you know, speculating like we have been, but with real truth because NASA is not giving it to us. They're giving us subliminal messages and it's us up to us to really find the truth. We need your help, everybody. And I think the help's coming in. Thanks. Thank you, Brent. And don't forget everybody, drjradiolive.com. Check out his channel, the links below. He's got amazing, I mean, incredible interviews from everybody around the world in regards to the UFO phenomenon, senators, congressmen, astronauts. You got to take a look. It's quite incredible. Uh, everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. Blake Cousins, we'll see everybody again next time.